All right, so this video is going to be an introduction to sequences, okay? So these are things that we've talked about in high school, but now they're going to be coming back up again in Calculus 2. So uh, a sequence is just a comma-separated list of numbers, okay? And it can be a, I guess you could say, finite sequence. But for our purposes, what we're going to be talking about, we're going to be dealing more with infinite sequences. So something like, you could say a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, on and on and on, a sub n. And what I just wrote here, right, we denote each, like each term by a, okay, and the number that goes with that a is the is the term right so a sub one is the first term a sub two is the second term a sub n is the nth term it's kind of like uh, your input right so how you had y equals a function of x and you input x and you output y well now you're inputting an n here you're inputting you know n is the same thing as x right they're both inputs and then you're going to output your y which is going to be a sub n okay so that's how you can kind of think of it now, you can write sequences in a couple different ways. So here are some ways to write infinite sequences, okay? We're gonna start over here. Uh, this is probably the easiest to understand. We just have uh, our formula for a sub n here, okay? And this is going to give us any term that we want in the sequence by plugging in an n. So if we wanted the seventh term, we can plug in seven for n here, right? We get a sub seven which is going to be n, which is seven, over n, which is seven, plus one. So we get seven over eight, right? That's going to be the seventh term in our sequence, okay? So that's pretty easy to use and everything, and it's easy to kind of see how we get that. Next, we have n over n plus one, and that's gonna be in brackets, and you have n equals one to infinity on the, on the outside of those brackets. And that's just gonna tell you that you're basically doing the same thing as you're doing here, but you're starting out with the first term and then you're going to infinity and that's, that's your infinite sequence. And if you write that out, that looks like this. Okay. That's an, this is another way to write an infinite sequence. Okay. You start out by listing the first couple terms. This is the first term a sub one. This is the second term a sub two, the third term and the fourth term. And this is the nth term. Okay. So, you have your, your first term, right? You plug in one, you're gonna get one over two, okay? You plug in two, you're gonna get two over three, and so on and so forth. If you plug in n, right, which of course, well, you already have n's there, you know, you get n over n plus one. So that's going to give you any term that you want in the sequence after that. So here's a quick problem that you could see for just, you know, a regular sequence problem. All right, you know, what is the formula for a sub n in the sequence? We want to find that that first thing that we went over of how to describe an infinite sequence, just describing it as a formula with a sub n equal to something. Okay, and we start off, we got to look at some things here. Okay, first off, we can easily see that the numerator is going up by one every time and it's starting at six. Well, this is our first term right here. So we can just say that that is in the numerator n plus five. Why are we able to say that? Well, for our first term, when we plug in one for n, then we get that six that was on the top, okay? For our denominator, okay, you see that we have seven to, this is like, you can kind of think of this as seven to the first, seven squared, seven to the third power, seven to the fourth, because we're multiplying by seven each time. So we can just write seven to the n, right? Seven to the first, that's when n equals one. So that works out. Now, lastly, we need to take care of this negative. This negative is alternating, okay? So for n equals two and n equals four, we end up with a negative term. And what that means is that we're gonna to have to have a negative one out front here. But since it's only to the even powered uh, terms in the sequence, that means that we are going to have to do 
well, we have to put a power on this. And if we put the power of n, well, then it's just going to be, you know, when we have a, you know, like the first term in the sequence, we would end up getting a negative here because you get a negative one to, to the first power, which is still negative. But if you square it, then it becomes a, it becomes a negative number. Okay. No, it doesn't. Lastly, we need to take care of this negative here that's on the second and fourth term. Now, if the negative was just on the first and third term, well, that would be pretty easy, right? We can just put a negative one out here, raise it to the n power. Because then, well, I mean, that works out really well, right? If we put it to the n power, then it's going to be negative here because we'll have a negative one to the first power. That's negative still. If we have a negative one to the second power, right, in our second term, that's just going to be negative one squared, which is one. So now it's not going to be negative anymore. However, we have the negative at the second and fourth term. So what we can do is just add one to this. If we add one to that, then look what happens now. Well, what about our first term? Our first term, now that becomes negative one to the one plus one, which is two, right? So we get negative one squared, that's one. So this becomes positive and then this is going to become negative because we're going to get an odd power up in the exponent. Okay, so this turns out to be your formula for a sub n. All right, so we're going to be doing some more examples like this in coming videos. So definitely stay tuned for that. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.